right now I'm fake sleeping, but I could literally fall asleep for real. So, I don't know about you, but I've been so tired lately. Or maybe there's something with my bed. I, I was wondering if maybe my bed is too cozy and too comfortable and that's why I sleep so much. Go figure. Okay, so I wake up and I make my bed and then after I'm woken up, I like to open the window just to like let some fresh air in. Also, it's so pretty, like all the trees have become green. So my phone is always out the bedroom. That's just a good habit I've had and I put it on airplane mode, although it's mostly on airplane mode all day. Okay, and then I come to the bathroom. I brush my teeth. I use a tongue scraper. And then I like to sit either on this couch or on the black one over there. Um, I'm gonna do this one today because it's just like, it's just like in the sun. And I like to sit here and do a little bit of meditation or breath work. I find that like when I do it every day, it's actually easier to keep up with. The thing with meditation is I've been doing it for so many years now that it's not scary or uncomfortable to me to just like sit down in silence and do nothing. So what I've been wanting to do more like guided things with is uh, breath work. And this brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Open. So Open is basically a wellness app where you have meditation, breath work, uh, yoga, Pilates, and that also strength trainings. Um, honestly, it's like so good and so beautiful. Like if you've ever seen it, you'll remember it because just everything is just staged so, so beautifully. Oh, it also has like sound baths and sound meditations, which is so beautiful with like musicians. And recently they just released the Mental Detox 14-day um, breathwork program, which is a journey that helps in regulating your nervous system for optimal mental and um, emotional well-being. And so I'm really, really excited to be doing this 14-day challenge. I'm going to start today. Open is offering you guys 30 days for free. Um, so that you can join the program with me and we can do the challenge together. There's a code and the link is down below. You can just click it and with this you get entered for 30 days for free and then if you love the platform and want to keep going you just stay subscribed and if you don't then you can cancel your subscription at any point. Okay now let's get into the actual practice shall we? Um, I'm just gonna play it I guess. In today's practice, we're going to cycle between two of my favorite techniques so you can feel this dance for yourself and begin to open your mind to what's possible with just a few simple changes to the pace and pattern of your breathing.
altering our depth and pace of breath and bring us to a place of clarity and ease. Notice how powerful your breath really is. I got distracted. Um, I will like do something and then I'll like start watching memes. And I don't know how I really got there, but I did. And then I'll start sending memes to my friends. And then I'll be like, Chloe, but I just saw a meme and I thought I needed to show you because it's just like such a good depiction of like how I've been feeling every morning of this week. I'm going to try and call my friend to see if she's keen on going on a run. Let's see if she picks up. She usually doesn't pick up. Come on, pick up. We could be going on a fun run right now. Just saying. Okay, so I've got a race on Sunday. I signed up for a 20K race. So I'm actually not gonna be going on a run. <laughs> okay, I'm a very indecisive person. I'm gonna do a little like stretching. Like, I do some sort of exercise. My um, exercise changes pretty much every day. So when you guys ask me to do like a um, exercise routine like it's kind of hard for me to do it because it's just like changes quite a bit but I would say on average like I run like maybe three times a week I'll go to the gym like once to do like a Pilates class one other Pilates or a yoga at home if I don't do that I'll go cycling or I'll go for a swim one day um, so it's quite varied, honestly, at the moment. I also have been really enjoying going on walks. Yeah, but because I have the race in two days, I decided today I'm just going to do some stretching. Um, I don't want to, like, tire my body so much before it. So I actually don't need to wear any, like, special clothes. I can do it in my PJ. And I'm just going to do stretches that are comfortable to me right now, but I are stretching like parts of my body that tend to be a little tight. And it's really interesting because I used to absolutely love running and like not feel complete in one day if I didn't go for a run. It's pretty much like an addiction, but more and more as I've been regulating my nervous system and also my body has been regulating itself. And I've realized like since mine has become more stable and peace, at peace, I guess, um, I have been craving more like just gentler forms of exercise, getting my heart rate up and like feeling like I can't breathe. It's not pleasant to me anymore. Like we need different things at different times in our lives. And also when I was doing like a Q&A, I think a lot of you were saying like, oh, it's so cool that you're moving into more wellness stuff and like, I'm doing the Pilates course and um, I also want to get more into cooking. Like I'm actually into cooking like since the longest time, but I don't really share my cooking much on social media and I want to do that more. It's really nice. And sometimes also because sometimes I work out like in the at noon, for example, with like a workout class at noon, then like I like doing some stretching in the morning just to like wake up the body and open up the body before I get into work. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to show you. Let's go to the kitchen. So I was really bad at like drinking enough water recently and I found a technique that really works for me is to get like water into a jug that has a straw fill it up throughout the day so I make sure that I drink enough and I like to drink quite a bit in the morning 
at the moment I'm taking for supplements I'm taking um zinc and biotin I literally become a camel when I have this <laughs> drink so much water So I'm done with shower and I'm just going to do my skincare. Skin looks a little bit red because I went to um, do microneedling. But my skin is a bit sensitive still. So I don't think I'm going to be putting much makeup on today just because I want my like my skin to regenerate and like it's still quite open from the micro needling so I don't really want to put any makeup in it um, so I think I'm just gonna like brush my brow brows and keep it very natural today I want that um, also one thing that I love to do in the morning um, to wake me up is to do dry brushing so I do that like before I get into the shower and so I start from my arms and then my legs and I just like brush my whole body and that just helps like the blood flow to circulate and I find that like it brings me like really present it's kind of like a massage but it's very energizing and I find that in the morning to be really really nice before I get into the shower so I do that most mornings, not every single day, but most mornings I like to do that. And I'm also gonna make a smoothie because I've got this very ripe banana that needs eating. <coughs> Usually I'll have something bigger, uh, either a thicker smoothie or I'll have like toast or uh, oatmeal. In the morning I also usually will make myself like a tea, a matcha or a coffee. I try to stay away from coffee unless my energy is very, very grounded. Otherwise, like match is really good. It has been very healing for my nervous system to stay away from like too many stimulants or go towards more like adaptogens or just like more stable caffeine. Now I'm feeling a little bit too grounded and I want to have a little bit more lightness, a little bit more energy. And so I'm gonna have a more like fruity smoothie, something light um, with ginger, like I need like a kick. And that's when you do like practices like meditation, breath work, or like body practices that are very gentle, they're slow enough for you to actually listen to what your body needs at a certain moment. Wow, sun's shining. Voila, that's it for today. That's it for this morning. Come and join the routine. Come and join the mental detox program. Let's do it together. It'll be fun and it will be resetting. And I find that like that's even more potent when we do it at a change of season. And now we're like heading into spring and it's kind of doing like a spring cleaning of our insides so that we can come out refreshed. Thank you.